I'm bumping along a rough, dusty road in Icara Flinders National Park. I've come to see a very rare and curious thing. It's rather poetically known as the Ediacaran Golden Spike. The marker defines the boundary between one official geological period and another. There are only 100 of these in the world and only one in the Southern Hemisphere so far. Right here at the end of this path in a remote part of the Flinders Ranges. It's not quite the glittering object implied by the term Golden Spike, but what a story it tells. Below the line of rocks from an ancient time when Earth was a frozen world of ice sheets and glaciers. Above it, those from the warm, shallow seas of the Ediacaran up to 635 million years ago. Traces of the weird life forms that lived in those seas can be seen in fossil beds two hours from here. So, next stop, the village of Parachilna. Self-proclaimed Ediacaran capital of the world and home to one of the best pubs I've ever been to. The Prairie Hotel is a cracker. Many come for the fine dining experience and the unusual outback menu. Some, like me, come for all that and the chance to see those remarkable fossils. But that's a tomorrow job. We're headed north again along the outback highway towards Nilpena Ediacara National Park. It's the single most important site on Earth for the Ediacaran rise of early animal life. A bus carries us toward our first stop through the arid landscape of Old Nilpena Station. This part of the Ediacaran story began at the old shearing shed, almost by chance. A visiting family friend identified the telltale ripples of an ancient seabed in the stone slabs of the shed floor. Just think how many boots tramped over them during more than a hundred years of busy shearing seasons. One thing led to another and paleontologists and researchers soon descended on Nilpena. Up there on the windswept hillside, fossil beds are laid out for ongoing research. Here and there are exquisitely preserved imprints of strange plants and animals. The vanished inhabitants of an ancient ecosystem some of the earliest life we know. A week later in Adelaide, I pop into the Museum of South Australia for one last look. There's a whole wing in there devoted to the extraordinary Ediacaran. Audio visuals, specimens, explanations, stuff for the kids, the whole interesting palaver. You'll find yourself thinking about this lost world for a long time after you leave South Australia.